Hello there and welcome back to Siberia, the world before. We are uh, in Wagen and yeah, we're looking for a specific um, shop that could have sold the, the case of the painting. Um, and we're actually about to head out to explore Wagen a little bit. What is this? Okay, it's 2005 in this game, and that's their computer. <laughs> okay, well, let's, let's see what we can find here. About the Müller shop. Oh, way too many results that way. I'd never have located the Müller shop. Good thing I had Frau Wagner's documents. Okay, anything about the town in general? Aha, Wagen Ostertal. Wagen is the capital of Ostertal, a small country in Central Europe with a population of 9 million people. Okay, Ostertal, that's, um, yeah, that's not a real country, right? <laughs> that's made up. I guess it's something, yeah, like Austria. Um, it sounds similar at least. Uh, the city is built along the banks of the river, oh my god, the river Dombre, the third longest river in Europe, and is bordered by the Alps that separate it from Switzerland. As the fourth largest German-speaking city in the world, Wagen is renowned for its history, with its origins dating back to the 6th century, and for its architecture largely influenced by the Art Nouveau movement. Devastated by a fire at the beginning of the 20th century, Wagen became largely mechanized during its subsequent reconstruction. It since offers numerous curiosities that have fascinated generations of travelers and tourists. Its population, estimated today to be at 1.5 million inhabitants, was subject to a marked decrease during the Second World War. Wagen, like the rest of Ostertal, was annexed by the fascists of the brown shadow. These fascists generalized persecutions against the significant local Wagerin community until the community was wiped out during the genocide set up throughout Europe during the following years. The number of Wagerin victims from Wagen is estimated at over 100,000 people. Okay, well that sounds terrible. Okay, any news on the Iron Tiger? Oh, okay, so that's just information. The Iron Tiger refers to a region of Eastern Europe that has remained largely wild. It is mostly known for having been a defense line of the USSR during the Cold War. Soviet forces deployed a large amount of heavy military equipment in the region for the prevention of an eventual attack from the forces of NATO. Much of this equipment was abandoned on the collapse of the Soviet Union and left to rust or to be recycled by scrap metal and arms dealers. The region is rich in salt and includes a number of industrial hamlets that emerged with the expansion of mining. The activity was subject to a strong decline during the perestroika or restructuration era when the Soviet industrial fabric was sold piece by piece to the private sector. Some mines remained open, but became the theater of shady operations linked to organized crime and identity splinter groups. Mail? Oh, we have a mailbox still? Huh. There must be three years worth of emails I haven't read here. Oh my god. Better do some cleaning up. Ah, that's better. people and organizations by the way i think the cleaning of the mailbox was only for the um the achievement clean slate empty your email i can't <laughs> yeah. necrology katusha spirito nova okay i wish you could be here with me now katusha we would have found the shop together Fallen idol goes missing, January 4th, 2001. Katerina Spiridonova, the one-time idol 
of Soviet youth is reported missing. The child prodigy, also known as Katyusha, joined the prestigious Soviet choral at an early age. Many were her fellow country folk who shed a tear on hearing her performance on state radio of the famous song that gave her her nickname Katyusha. The homonym owes nothing to chance. Indeed, Katyusha's parents, devoted party officials, had planned out her life with the goal of making her the epitome of the model citizen. But on reaching adolescence, Katyusha began to rebel. Moving from one more or less radical liber liber libertarian group to another, Katyusha ended up supporting every struggle against the established order. She militated for the rights of women, homosexuals, and every oppressed minority in general. A defiance took shape in the early 2000s when Katyusha co-founded a punk group. Her provocative lyrics and parody of cabaret and patriotic songs began finding an echo in circles with a liberal tendency in the West. It would seem that the young woman disappeared in mysterious circumstances a few nights ago after a concert when driving an old van belonged to the band on a country road. The wreck of the vehicle was found at the bottom of a river. However, one police source confirms that Katyusha's body has not been found, but that all the evidence suggests that her body has been carried away by the river. This has been contested by, other mem by the other members of Katyusha's band. The young women claim that their leader's disappearance was mandated by their political enemies to reduce their friend to silent. There is nothing, however, to support this conspiracy theory. No, oh, and we can read about our mother. Okay. Oh my God, Mom was buried months ago. Obituary notice: August twenty fifth, two thousand and three. Sarah Walker, following a long illness, sadly passed away at the age of sixty five on August twenty third, two thousand and three. Involved in the field of culture, especially in opera, and much loved by her neighbors and friends, she leaves behind her happy memories to all who knew her. Sarah was also the mother of the brilliant lawyer Kate Walker, who has not been seen since she left for Europe over a year ago. The burial of Sarah has been postponed by one week to give extra time for the news to reach her daughter. It is hoped that Miss Walker will be able to come home to say a last farewell to her mother. Olivia Foster, a long-standing friend of the family, invites all those who would like to pay their last respects to Sarah Walker to attend the religious service at 2 p.m. on August 28th. Olivia and her husband, Dan, would like to thank everyone who joins them in their grief, as well as Frank Markovic and the staff at Mount Sinai Hospital. Olivia and her husband, Dan, Dan was, uh, by the way, our boyfriend in part one, until he cheated on us with Olivia, our best friend. But apparently they ended up happily ever after marrying and Dan was an idiot anyway, so who cares? <laughs> Organization. The Brown Shadow. The Brown Shadow is a term used to designate the wave of National Socialism that swept across Europe in the first half of the 20th century. It first came to light in the 1920s in Central Europe. It rose to power in the 1930s and subsequently won over the rest of Europe, so triggering the Second World War. In addition to civil and military victims of the ensuing conflict, the racist ideology of the Brown Shadow is responsible for genocides that led to the systematic and organized deaths of millions of people. These genocides were carried out in a systematic and relentless manner until the liberation of the victims by allied forces. Okay. Search people, now, I think. That's it. Okay, we got some background information here. I actually like that. Um, clearing out some things. And I think now we are finally good to go. <laughs> Oh, hi, dear. Knock. It's busy. What is that? So, Miss Walker, were the documents of any help to you? Yes, I was even able to locate the shop I'm looking for. Thank you so much, Frau Wagner. Good. Let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. 
Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about your guest house, Frau Wagner? Oh, I'd be delighted. What would you like to know? Things seem to be quiet today. Oh, there's never many guests at this time of year. Actually, is she a guest too? Oh, yes. She arrived earlier. An elderly English lady. A former military officer, if I understood correctly. They say she's come on some rather unpleasant business. A burial, from what I can gather. Oh. Yes, Miss Walker. And she hasn't let go of the telephone no. since she got here. The telephone box, okay. I'd love to know more about you, Frau Wagner. Oh, there's not much to tell, really. At least, nothing that would change the course of history. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure you've had an eventful life, haven't you? Well, I was born just after the war in Wagen, and I've never left. I opened this place and ran it with my husband until he died a few years ago. I'm sorry to hear that. You see, nothing to write home about. Then again, we were never ones for excitement, really. But we were happy, my husband and I. The room's just perfect. Thank you so much. There's no need to thank me, Miss Walker. It's my job to make sure my guests are comfortable. And it's not every day we get a young American lady on a motorbike in the middle of the night looking for a mysterious shop. <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm in a detective novel. I have a few questions about Wagen. Good, because if you'd asked me about the latest scientific discovery, I'd have to say pass. <laughs> but if it's about Wagen, then you've come to the right person, my dear. What can you tell me about the district? Well, it's one of the oldest districts in Wagen, traditionally working class. Myself and a few of the other relics who live here do try to keep it from modernization and mass tourism as best as we can. Other districts haven't been so careful, and the locals have been forced to leave their district because of rising rent prices. To be honest, I haven't had much time to find out about Wagen and the surrounding area. What is it I should know? For one, Wagen is very old, renowned for its charm and culture. As for the surrounding area, it attracts mountain lovers mostly, it being so near to the Swiss Alps, of course. The banks of the Dombra, the longest river in the country, are the delight of summer vacationers. Apparently the shop I'm looking for is located in Wagen's Antiques District. Could you tell me how to get there from the guest house? Your best bet is to take the tram, miss. The town centre is almost entirely pedestrian, and your motorbike won't be of any use there. You'll find the nearest tram stop at the top of the stairs, to your right as you go out of the guest house. My, uh, quest here is closely linked to the region of Wagen. Could you tell me a little bit about its history? I'd be glad to. The woman I'm looking for must have been about 18 in 1937. Was this an important date in the history of Wagen? Not that I know of, no. But I'm not much of a historian, and I wasn't even born then. All I know is that the troubles came the following years, with the Second World War. So that year must have been a boom year for fascist ideology, when the brown shadow was still just another party vying for power by preaching hate. I found out about the woman I'm looking for thanks to a painting that must have been pillaged by the brown shadow during World War II. It doesn't surprise me. Wagen, and by extension all of Ostertal, was annexed and occupied by the fascists just before the war. They sacked, stole and pillaged everything they could, just like they did in the rest of occupied Europe. Nothing else comes to mind for the moment. Thank you for your time. Well, feel free to come back and ask if you have any more questions. I'm actually glad that she keeps, she kept her um, answers rather short. Because I know that like these long, long dialogues can sometimes get a little boring. Have a nice day, Miss Walker. I just don't want to skip it, so um, I'm glad that uh, 
She didn't the talk to much. The Dombre guest house. According to what I've read, the Dombre is the longest river in Ostertal and runs through Wagen. Oh, that's our room? Looks like it. Okay, let me um, visit the district before you leave. Go to the antiques district by tram. Okay, so this is where we're going. This is the main objective. This is an um, optional thing. And yeah, I guess. Like, visit the district? What district? The one we are in? I guess we can just look at it. Wagen is practically all pedestrian. After all those months on the road, I've gotten kind of fond of that old bike. Okay, upstairs, there's the tram, uh, that's where we are supposed to go, so that's where we're going last. Let's look around here. Can I go there? Oh, I can! But nothing here, okay. This district is just so beautiful. It's really pretty. But nothing else here. I really like that they um, stick to Kate Walker's characteristic outfit with the tight trousers and the outdoor code wait one mm. how do i visit the old district or maybe i can take a tram okay uh maybe i don't know what the old district is do we have a map Document. Also can't click, uh, I can't get any more information on the quest or objective. Wait, I went down there. So. I guess we go up. There's nothing else down here. Oh, this is the tram station. Mm hmm. Okay, so this stop is apparently closest to the um, Antiquitätenviertel and Müller's shop. This is the guest house, this is where we are at Centrum. Okay, okay. Well, we're not taking the tram yet. We can't go through here. I like that we can fast travel like this, though. At least it looks like fast travel to me. Visit the district before you leave. I'm a little confused now. Hey! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the pointing click is, uh, yeah. Can sometimes be a little uh, confusing. <laughs> okay, uh. 
Maybe it's here. Nope. Maybe you just have to look at everything. That Going by what Frau Wagner told me when I first arrived, this used to be mm. a working class district. Nowadays, I bet everyone wants to snap up these old houses, just like in Brooklyn. Okay, we got a completely different view now. Uh, a different perspective. Ah, oh, okay. Hmm. And now we can look at the gate, which we couldn't from the other side. Must oh. be the botanical gardens. Too bad it's closed. Oh, that's so nice. Well, the guest house in that neighborhood sure are the best things to happen to me since... Who knows? But I should go and take the tram now. Uh. Go. Cool. Excuse me? <laughs> okay. Hmm... little faster hello <laughs> okay uh that was a little confusing okay yeah i don't know the I, I have no idea how we can move the camera like 180 degrees to kind of see from the other side because we just needed that to uh, complete the um, optional objective Verkehrsbetriebe Wagen Baden. Wagen Trump, Autumn 2005. Have you heard what the Thor uncovered up in the mountain? At Devil's Pass, you mean? I did hear something on the news before coming out. What's the latest then? They reckon they found remains dating back to World War II, when Alpine resistance networks led refugees across into Switzerland. Nasty times were those. Yes, not the best times in our history, were they? Enjoy a little tram ride here. <laughs> Wagen Antiques District, Autumn 2005. We have explore the stalls before you talk to the antiques dealer and find Müller's shop. Okay, um, we also have something new. Yeah, the wagon, November 21st or 27th, 2005. Dear Mrs. Foster, I have, I have arrived in Wagen Ostertal 
where I have been able to quickly pick up Mrs. Miss Walker's trail. She was staying for a while in a local guest house, but had already left by the time I arrived. It is not going to be easy to find out if she has left the town or moved to another address. The guest house owner, a certain Frau Wagner, seems to hold her in a very high esteem and has categor categorically refused to help me. It was all I could do to get Frau Wagner to tell me that Miss Walker went to the Antiques District on her first day in the city. I shall just have to follow Kate's footsteps in order to reconstitu reconstitute her trials and tribulations in Wagen. Never mind though, after all, it's been my routine for almost the last three years now. <laughs> wow, he's obsessed. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna check out some of the little stalls. Further, surprising finds in clandestine salt mine. Investigations into the clandestine uh, clandestine salt mine discovered in the Ayan Taiga region after a tip-off have taken a surprising turn. We previously reported the incredible discovery of a brown shadow treasure train in the salt mine, along with a slave labor force housed in rudimentary underground cells. Police investigators have now unearthed a collection of invaluable artifacts along with a store of mammoth ivory deemed of major significance by anthropologists around the world. Experts hope that carbon dating will confirm they are from Neolithic times, in which case these finds will prove the existence of a myth mystical East European empire corresponding to Great Russia. Furthermore, it has been confirmed that the laborers used to dig out the invaluable artifacts were abducted in an Eastern European fascist mili militia. This militia thus provided the owners with a constant supply of slaves. During a press conference, Chief Inspector Viktor Palinsky said, these astonishing finds confirm accounts from forced workers that the criminal excavation venture was set up following the permafrost permafrost thaw. The permafrost, thought to have been in existence for 6,000 years, has been slowly melting due to the effects of global warming. To what end the owners were intent on excavating the invaluable artifacts and resources is not yet known. Typical of the town, judging from what I've seen so far of the architecture here. Nice that they are pointing out the architecture. Can't talk here. This is Pals Antiquitäten. An antique shop. But not the one I'm looking for. Mm. Yeah, I can't really like turn around the camera, so this is confusing. Okay, and I can't look at this shop, so let's let's just keep going. Mm. Mullers? Oh, straight ahead, Fräulein. You can't miss it. Oh, thank you. No, that isn't the antique shop I'm looking for. Glanzvolle Antiquitäten. Oh no, not yet. Stop it. Müller und Söhne? 
It's just over there, on the next corner. Here? I don't want to go there yet. Feels like I've completely lost my appetite since the mines. And yet, Wagen is famous the world over for its cakes. Reminds me of the Suka the Yukels. I really miss not traveling with them sometimes. Even Simon Steiner wouldn't have done any better. I hope he and his granddaughter are okay. Simon. What an authentic district. Brings up memories, too. But I should focus on the Muller shop now. Simon Steiner, Steiner, um, I don't remember the name, but I guess it was a character from the previous games. Müller und Söhne, Müller and Son. <laughs> this must be the place. Not as much. So, Hans was here in Wagen after all. That hallmark on that sphere proves it. I wonder what that automaton was used for. I have to get a closer look. Well, that is if someone lets me in. Inventory day. Ring three times for urgent matters. Huh. Okay, it's cool. Mm. You rang? Uh, yes. Sorry to bother you. Um, hello. I mean, guten tag, Herr Müller? Guten tag, Fräulein. I am stock-taking, if you will. Oh, sorry to disturb you. But if you don't mind, I'd like to show you a painting. A painting? Yes, of someone I'm looking for. A girl who apparently looked like me. Well, I'm rather busy. But, all right. Show me. You see? It has the name of your shop on it. Yes, the label certainly comes from here. It's very old, though. It's the only clue I have as to the whereabouts of the girl. I see. My guess is... Whoever owned the painting must have been a client of the shop... ...before the painting was stolen by the Brown Shadow during the Second World War. That's all very possible. That was when the shop sold materials for artists. As you can see, we don't sell that type of article anymore. Do you mind if I take a look? Be my guest. I've been told I look like the model in the painting. A slight exaggeration, no doubt. But is there any chance that you know who she could have been? There's no exaggeration, Fräulein. Indeed, she does look like you. But I'm sorry, I've never seen her before. Do you know anything about the artist? Well, I'd say the style is close to the naturalist school. Which makes sense, given the date on it. The signature is very faint. From what I can make of it... No, no. I, the name doesn't ring a bell. Sorry, Fräulein. How could the case have come from your shop? Going by the date, the painting must have been done in my grandfather's day. 
Back then, the shop sold materials for art, and this type of case would have been used to protect a painting. Or to carry documents, a manuscript, or even sheet music. Apart mm -hmm. from that, there's not much else I can tell you. Pity. You were my last hope. I can tell you where it was painted, though, if it's any help. Oh? Yes, I'm certain. That's the refuge at the Silberspiegel. You can make out the mountain circus in the background. It overlooks Wagen and leads to the Swiss border. Right. You can get there by the tramway. Just head southeast and get off at the end of the line. That's very... Thank you. You've been very helpful. Don, Mind I was you, working. there's quite a hike from the station to the refuge. Oh, I'll manage. Anything else, Fraulein? Actually, there is. I noticed an object in your window there. A strange metal sphere which might work with an automaton mechanical heart I have. Yes, it's an authentic Vorlberg. Do you mind if I try it? No, not at all. Let me get it for you. Looks like, an, like a dragon egg or something. <laughs> Here you go. Thanks. Put Oscar's heart in the Borelberg sphere. Oh, do we have our first puzzle? It moved. Maybe it can be opened. element a Varlber key push button activated mm. two nine three six seven oh maybe Hans's logo. Something's obstructing it. Something's obstructing it. Maybe here? Oh, looks like there's something underneath its scales. Hmm, I can't move it. Start over. Okay, so it was two nine. I'm gonna write that down. Two nine three six seven zero. Um two. Maybe this way? Nine. And there's no three here. Three. 
six, seven, zero. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks like it fits perfectly. This is really cool. I like that puzzle. Fascinating. Oh my god, we have a new Oscar? companion. <laughs> is it really Oscar? Oscar, can you hear me? Hello, Kent Walker. <laughs> oh, it's Oscar. He's back. Oscar, I'm so glad you're back among the living. In a new body. Delighted to see you too, Kate Walker. Wow. But I seem to have an internal management issue. This host body's instincts seem to be at odds with me, and... Uh, Oscar, is everything all right? Oscar? Oscar, come back! <gasps> oh dear, I can't control myself. Help, please, Kate Walker, help me. Oscar, where are you going? I can't help it, Kate Walker. It's taking me away. Oscar! Wait! Come back! I am out of control, Kate Walker. Help! <laughs> hey, what the... Uh, okay, where is he? Oh, looks like they had an accident. That thing is crazy! Where did it go? That thing is crazy! Okay, tell me where it went. Oscar! Have you seen an automaton? Like a small animal. Oh, I sure did. The little bugger just rushed inside this coffer. Well, do you have the key? Oh, I have plenty on my stall. Please feel free to find the right one, and then get the hell out of here with that pet of yours. Uh, hang on, Oscar. Just stay where you are, okay? That shouldn't be a problem, given the situation, Kate Walker. But please hurry. This... Host body's instincts are fighting me for control. Well, this one could work with the coffer. I guess. I guess it could open the coffer. Uh, I guess we'll just try all of them. And another one. Could be this one. Or another. Oh, come on, there must be a way to see which key is the right one for the coffer. I mean, so far, it's just three. It's not gonna be a big deal. Um, okay. I warn you, you'll have to pay for the damage of that animal. None of them? Hmm. Oh, that looks like the right one. That one could be as good as any. Walker, but it seems I am unable to take over this body's instincts. It won't budge. Hang in there, Oscar. 
I'll find something to force it out. I mean, you out. Wh whatever. You know what I mean. Mm. Nothing here. Are you? I don't know. What do we need? Oh yeah. No, the I can't use that. Hey, wait a second. Kate Walker, what are you? Sorry, Oscar. It's all I could come up with. You need to fight it, Oscar. Do it, Oscar. I know you can. He's trapped in a dead end. I got him now. Mm, where did he go? Here, right? Oscar, what are you doing? I am unable to control the beast's infernal instinct. Help me, Kate Walker. Okay, calm down. Good boy. Nice and easy. That a boy. Who wants a treat? If you come now, I'll give you a treat. Come here now. Come here. Who's my boy? Come here now. Oh, he's such a good boy. Come on. Oscar! Oscar, don't! Oscar! Oscar, please! What? Come back! I need you! Give up? Can I not give up? Go back and see Müller. That's our optional. No, not again. Thing. Not Oscar. Oh, darn it, why do I have to lose everyone I love? So, couldn't you catch it? No, sorry. I lost your Vorlberg sphere. Ah, oh, forget it. Nobody wanted it anyway. And it was taking up window space. Automatons don't fascinate people like they used to. I imagine you're the only one who will notice it's gone. It's a terrible loss indeed. More than I could say. But thanks for all your help anyway. You are very welcome. Good day to you, Fraulein. Thank you, Herr Müller. I'm off to the mountain refuge you told me about. Good day. Come on, Kate. Herr Müller gave you all the pieces of information you needed. And Oscar must be long gone now. What the hell is my broom doing here? The damn thing is on the loose, huh? Well, good riddance. Well, I'm sure we're gonna reunite with Oscar eventually. Oops. 
Uh, here's the tram station. Oh, no. <laughs> Wrong side. <clears throat> oh my god. Yeah, the point and click is a little confusing, but it's okay. Ah, so now we can go to the refuge. I'm always excited about new um, areas. Wagen Trump. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we can skip the ride. I've once been to a place like this bridge full of buildings i think it was in yeah, italy um maybe in florence i don't know it's a very famous place actually i wonder if it was um inspired by that place or if it's a common thing Wagen Mountains, Autumn 2005. that wow that looks like a really nice place with all the nature around oh i'm curious to explore but for now i'm gonna end this video here and yeah i hope i will see you in the next one